The wolf took the babies out of the pregnant woman when they found out why they were shocked. People say that miracles exist, but we believe in them. If you don't either, then this story may be for you. You probably think I'm crazy for telling you this story, but the truth is that this is one of the most fascinating and incomprehensible cases in history. Not even the most experienced specialist can explain it. Most likely, if it were not for the witnesses who discovered our main character and saw what happened with their own, we would hardly even have learned about this amazing story in Minnesota. She was just like thousands of other American women and at the age of 24, the young woman was pregnant and her loving husband was waiting for their baby with excitement. Everything was going on as usual and nothing surprising was happening. By that time, Stella was already eight months pregnant and there were no reasons for trouble. In January 2014, Stella was driving home in her car returning from the city. That day there was a terrible snowstorm. It snowed all night in the morning and the snow covered everything. The ground was covered with snow at 40 inches in height. Stella was in her SUV. There were only a few miles to the house when suddenly her car stopped. The young woman realized that it could not go anymore. Of course, the services had to clean the roads, but since it was not the main highway but a small road in the forest, they hadn't reached it yet and the car got stuck in a snowdrift. All of the woman's attempts were desperate and led only to the fact that the SUV was stuck in its track. Stella got out of her car hoping that soon special vehicles would come and pick her up, but the snowstorm was getting stronger and for half an hour no one appeared. The young woman was getting desperate. She was already starting to freeze. She understood that she couldn't keep her car running either because there wasn't enough gas. But the worst thing that it was already getting dark and there was more and more snow. Her heart was beating faster and faster and she was afraid of staying here for too long. She was completely alone in a snowstorm on a snow-covered road a few miles away from her home and from the city, so it would be difficult to stay here until the morning. The path to the city was a little shorter, so Stella decided to go back on foot. She made her way through the snow and blizzard and she managed to walk almost half a mile and something happened. It couldn't be imagined even in the worst nightmare. Suddenly, as the young woman was already in a panic, she felt that she was going into labor. She understood that she couldn't walk any further. She saw a place under the nearest tree where there was less snow and with great effort managed to get there. Stella only asked, Lord, why is this happening to me? Help me, please. And after five minutes, she lost consciousness from the cold and pain. This could have been the end of the story and we would never know its continuation. We would only find out about a frozen body found a few days later. But what actually happened after that does not have any explanation. I don't know how much time had passed since I fainted, Stella recalls. But when I came to my senses, I felt warm and my head was lying on the back of a huge gray wolf. He was probably the leader of the pack. The other wolves in the were about nine of them surrounded me with a tight ring blocking me from the snowstorm. I didn't even have time to get scared, it was more like a dream. They didn't show any aggression at all and were going around me like nannies. And about 20 minutes right there in the snow, I gave birth to my baby. One she-wolf carefully gnawed the umbilical cord and then licked my boy with another wolf. It was as if they clearly knew and understood what and how to do it. The rest of the wolf snuggled and warned me, and the she-wolf gnawing the umbilical cord slightly pushed my baby towards me with her nose. My child was crying and this meant that he was alive so I started breastfeeding him. All this time, wild predators were nearby protecting me from the snowstorm with a dense wall. I was like a member of their pack who needed their help. The leader licked the snow and tears on my cheeks. By that time, Stella's husband had already started searching for his wife because she should have returned home a long time ago. He and his neighbors drove in a heavy truck along the same path. The young woman was towards them. On the road, they found the abandoned car covered with snow and continued searching. Seeing a wolf pack, people decided the most terrible thing must have happened. One of the men took his gun and started shooting into the air. The wolves ran away, but they didn't go too far from the young woman and her baby. Approaching them, the husband found his wife holding the recently born in her arms. It was an incredible sight that he told everyone about later. How is it possible? I couldn't imagine that it could happen like that. The predators were staying nearby all this time. Despite the group of people, the wolves were not even going to leave. They watched the people carrying the woman who'd been under their care and baby into the car. An hour later, the young woman was safely delivered to the city hospital. A few days after the incident, Stella gave an interview to the reporters. They definitely won't forget me, the woman said. I'm sure I'll find time to visit them someday with my little Bill. We'll go back to the place where the pack of wild and bloodthirsty predators saved me and my baby from inevitable death. It wasn't just a random situation. Of course, we now have a connection with them. Forest rangers and hunters refused to comment on this incident. After all, they'd never seen anything like it. Other experts believed that the wolves could smell the child and their maternal instincts kicked in. Of course, they discouraged the young woman from meeting her bloodthirsty saviors, not understanding how this is even possible. Animals always help humans in different ways. 
Another heartwarming story about animals saving a baby. A fox suddenly appeared in the grass and ran straight ahead while a child was crying in the distance. The fox picked up the child and left. This scene happened in Haiyan County Ningxia. When people saw it, they not only did not go after it, but also let the fox leave with the child in its mouth. The child was a baby girl born in a poor family, but she suffered from heart disease. Since her parents could not afford to pay for her surgery, they wrote her condition on a piece of paper and stuffed it into her clothes. They wanted to put the girl inside a wealthy village thinking that if she was lucky enough to be picked up with someone with money, she might survive. However, this was not how things turned out. At that time, the villagers of other villages were also poor, so no one was willing to treat a strange child. When the fox took the girl, they didn't stop it, not because they were mean-spirited, but because they knew the fox was a companion named Don. The fox was saved by Don when he was in the mountains before. The fox was lying on the side of the road with dull fur and very thin, and Don thought the fox was dead. He walked up and checked it before he found it alive and brought it back home. When the fox woke up again, it found itself in an unfamiliar environment, and before it could react, it was attracted by a smell. Don had already prepared dinner and was waiting for the fox to wake up. The fox didn't even notice the food because it was too hungry and was only attracted by the smell. Human-made food is the most delicious for animals, so the fox ran quickly and ate it up. After what happened before the animal's instincts told the fox to understand that it had to stay alive. Since it did not want to go back to the forest to survive, it followed Don around. Although Don abandoned the fox in the wild many times, it could always return to Don's house according to the scent. One day, when it was ready to go home after catching a vole, it heard a distant cry, so it went in the direction of the sound and found that it was a child. At that time, the others simply did not care about the child and the fox remembered that it was rescued by humans, so it ran to pick up the child and take it to Don's home. At first, Don did not know what was happening, but after seeing the paper next to the child, he understood. He wanted to save the child, but he had no way. During that time, the fox sensed that Don was depressed and knew that he was in trouble, but there was nothing he could do. The group fed several foxes and wanted them to catch voles, but they didn't know how to catch voles and would starve to death in the forest. It wasn't long before they heard that Don had a fox in his home and that it could catch a lot of voles, so they wanted the fox to teach the other foxes to catch voles. Soon after, they heard that Don had a child who needed an operation, so they brought a gift to discuss the matter with Don, who considered the fox to be family and was therefore unwilling to exchange it. He was worried the fox would be beaten and hurt by them, so he never agreed. At that point, the animal protection group had to ask Don to come over and tell him that if they treated the fox badly, he could always take it away. They also said that if the fox couldn't teach the other foxes to catch voles, they would let the fox go. And Don thought that this offer would not only solve the problem of the environmental group, but also save the sick child, so he agreed. Fortunately, the fox didn't let Don down. The fox subdued the foxes as soon as it arrived at its destination, and under its leadership, the foxes grew in their ability to catch voles and the animal protection organization kept their promise to cover the child's treatment costs. Before Don lived alone, after that he had the company of that child. He worked hard to earn her tuition and prepared good meals for her, never treating her poorly. The girl knew how to behave and went on to a good university. Instead of working in the big city after graduation, this girl returned to the countryside and became rich together with the villagers so they wouldn't be poor anymore. Many people think that money is more important than anything else, but life is priceless. We should be brave enough to face difficulties instead of running away from them. Sometimes helping others is helping ourselves. That's today's story. Please share your opinion with us in the comment section.